welcome to the One Choice for Your Store tutorial, setting up Blogger with your Yahoo Store. Now the first step is to create an account with Google and we already have an account so we signed in and now it's time to name our blog. So we're going to go ahead and put in the name of our store and then for the blog address, even though we're going to be FTPing our site, we still want to go ahead and just put in one choice for frogs without any spaces and then we'll put in the word verification and click continue. All right, next we just want to choose the basic standard template because we're going to have to alter this again in just a little bit and click on advanced setup options and then set up a custom domain. All right, now the next thing that we have to do is we have to switch over to a classic template, which is this template that we're using for our layout. So go ahead and click on classic template, scroll down to the bottom and then click on revert to classic template, click OK. And just to be safe, go ahead and click on Save Template Changes. All right, that's perfect. Let's get on to the next step. Let's click on Settings and then click on Publishing. All right, now let's click on FTP. And now we need to get the FTP settings from our Yahoo Store. We are in Yahoo Small Business and we're logged in under the main ID that started this account. So we click on Web Hosting Control Panel, then we click on Manage and we scroll down to the very bottom to get our FTP information. So now we're going to highlight the FTP host information and then copy. Go back to Blogger and paste that under FTP server. For blog URL, basically put in the URL you use for your store, except for replace www with blog. So in this case, our URL is going to be blog.onechoiceforfrogs.com. For FTP path, just type in blog and leave the blog file name and feed file name alone. For FTP username, go under user ID, copy that information and click copy and then go ahead and paste. And for the FTP password, you're going to put in the password that you use to sign into your Yahoo account. Then put in the word verification and click on save settings. Perfect. Now what we need to do is go into your Yahoo store and create the subdomain and the directory called blog so that way it will publish to the correct place in your Yahoo store. So let's go back into your settings here in the Yahoo store and click on file manager. Click on create subdirectory and here we're going to type in the subdirectory name of blog and then click on create subdirectory. Next, under Subdomains, click Edit, and then we're going to click on the Create Subdomain button. Type in the name Blog, and under Directory, it's going to ask you where you want to forward that directory to. Choose Blog, and then go ahead and click on the Submit button. So basically, what's going to happen now is you've created a subdomain that's called blog.yoururl.com, and if you remember correctly, this is the address that we gave for your blog URL. We're going to click on the Publish button and then click to view our blog in a new window. And as you can see, there's nothing there. That's okay. We actually have to put in a first post. So let's go ahead and click on Create. And let's create our first test post. Don't make this anything special. You can go back and delete it later. Basically put in, this is a test post post. All right, remember, you can go in and delete it. Go ahead and click on Publish Post and you'll see when it's published and go back to your tab and click Refresh. And there you go. There is your blog and it's up in your URL. Um, and there's a couple things that you can make changes to and you can go into your settings. But the biggest thing I like to do is get rid of this blue bar up there. I absolutely hate it. Um, so when you, what you want to do is go back into your blogger account, go through all those different settings. You know, you've got your title here, put in a description. Um, then go through the publishing, the formatting, the comments, go through all of that. But for now, let's get rid of that ugly blue bar. Click on template and where it says change the blogger nav bar, click off. All right, save it, republish now, go back over to your blog tab, click the refresh button and there you go. Um, that blue nav bar is completely gone and that absolutely drives me insane. Now if you want to change the look of your template, because remember we just went through and grabbed the very first one, just click on template 
pick new, and then you can scroll through different ones that you like and choose a brand new one with the look and feel that you want to create for that. Um, and then if you don't know how to do a custom design for your blog, you want to try to find something that looks similar or close to the actual look and feel of your website. All you have to do is click use this template, click OK, settings were saved, republish now, um, it will republish your blog, go into your blog, refresh it, and then you'll see that new design. Now, of course, if you are looking to create a look and feel that matches your store exactly, um, we can help you with that. Let me go ahead and take you over to the One Choice for Your Store website. And this is our main website. And then when you click on our actual blog, you can see left navigation, header, everything is the same. When we scroll down to actually look at our different blog postings, um, you can see that this is a blog, but yet it keeps the same look and feel of our entire store right here inside of the blog. So if this is something that you're needing to get done on your Yahoo store, give us a call on our toll-free number and we'll make sure that you get taken care of. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial and you'll come back for more. We have lots of video tutorials on lots of different subjects. Take care for now.